Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and today I'd like to talk about a brand new feature, brand new at version 2.14 anyway, called Group By. And Group By is this new method on your Prisma client which allows you to group data. So you can aggregate your data, you can filter it, and then display it. And this is really useful for cases where, let's say, you have a dashboard view in your application. Maybe you have a table of data, but you want to show an aggregated view of that data on that dashboard. This group by method is going to come in handy for just such a thing. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll go over to table plus to get started and let's import some data. So I'll import from a CSV and I've got this COVID data set here. I'll put the link to where I got this data in the description and I'll create a new table here. I'll say import and we'll let that run. It's a fairly large file, 15.1 megabytes and it's about 60,000 rows or something like that. Once it's in, we'll need to define a primary key for it, and we can do that here in table plus. So let's click into that table. I've added this ID column to the table. I did that in my Mac numbers application. And the reason we have that there is so that Prisma has a primary key to work with. So in the structure for our table here, let's say the primary column will be ID, and we can save that. So now over in our Prisma workspace, I've got this fresh Prisma workspace wired up here. We can do npx Prisma introspect. So we'll introspect that database and what comes out is our COVID table. So we've got all of the fields that come with that CSV that we imported plus that ID column, which we've marked as the primary key. Okay, so this is good to go now. We can start using it after we generate the Prisma client, but to use Group By, we actually need to opt into it as a preview feature. So at the time of this recording, Group By is a preview feature, and we can say, give us Group By as that preview feature we want to use. This will change in the future. You won't need to opt into it explicitly, but right now it's opt-in only. So MPX Prisma Generate will give us our Prisma client with the Group By feature in place and now we can start using it. So let's take a look over here. We've got a server.ts file, and let's start by getting some of the data out of that database to work with. So here we'll import Prisma client from at Prisma slash client. Let's new it up. So we'll give ourselves a const of Prisma is a new Prisma client. And then down here in the main function, we can do a constant of data equals await prisma.covid, that's our COVID table. And let's do a find many. And we can take just a subset of those records, take 10 for example, and let's do console.log data. Down here in the terminal, I've got a script that I can use npm run dev, which is going to run the ts node dev server for me. And it looks like we're getting our data out. So that's great. We've got lots of different fields in here. And what we can do now is see how group by will allow us to aggregate on some of those fields. So instead of the find many, let's choose to do a group by. And the way that this works is we pass an object in and we provide some configuration here. The first thing that we would want to do is pass the by property. So we want to group by something. And the way this works is we pass an array of what we want to group by. We can group by continent, for example. So let's see what this looks like. If we save that, we now have individual continents. So what's happening is each record in the database has a continent. Some of them don't, which we can see by this empty string here. And we're picking out the unique continents, essentially. We've got the option of grouping by other fields as well. We can group by multiple fields. But for now, continent is fine for this example. So the first thing I'm seeing is I want to be able to filter out this empty field. So I guess it's the case that in this data set, some of the records don't have a continent specified. So what we can do to get rid of that right within our group by method here is we can say where continent is not in an empty string. So the way this API works is we say, let's do some filtering. Let's pick out the field we want to filter on. And then we can provide certain operators like not in. Not in gives us the chance to specify multiple values that we, don't, that we want to ignore. In this case, let's just ignore the empty string case. 
So if we take a look at that down in the console, we are not getting that empty string anymore, so that's perfect. Okay, so we now have a way to group by a certain field. We're doing some filtering. Let's do some aggregation. So we can use the sum operator, for example, and we can say, let's sum up the new cases. Let's set sum new cases to true. And let's save this. We'll come down and now we have sum with our new cases property and we're getting these cases. I quite frequently take a look at the bing.com slash COVID dashboard of COVID data. And this value for North America at 28 million seems to line up uh, pretty well with what's coming through on Bing. So I think that this data is uh, is a pretty robust data set. It's pretty, pretty good in the way that it's reporting. And it seems like our aggregation here is working as well. We also have a way to filter data after it has been aggregated. So our where filter here operates on the data before we do aggregation, but we have a way to, to specify that we want to do some kind of filtering operation after as well. And that is found on the having operator. So we have this having key, and on here we can specify what we want to happen after we get, say, a sum done up for us. So let's take an example. Let's say we want to display data where the new cases total more than 10 million or something like that. So having, we can say where new cases, where the sum is greater than or equal to, let's say 10 million like that. So if we save that, now we've got a smaller subset of the data that we initially had, and this is only continents where the new cases are greater than 10 million. So we've got various ways to group up our data. We've got various ways to filter out the data before it gets aggregated. Then we've got ways to aggregate it, and then we've got ways to filter out post-aggregation. So lots of different options here for how to use group by, and if you take a look over here at the docs for it, just search for Prisma group by, you can see all of the other configuration that you can pass and how to use it more fully. So we'd love to know what you think about group by. You can hit us up on Twitter. You can go to twitter.com slash Prisma to find us there. Let us know what you think about this feature and if you would like to see anything else added to it in the future. Thanks for watching.